November 1, 1986, Mr. Norman Moxley. And they, that, those were built in the 30s then. Was that more people? Uh, it is in the 30s or in? early 40s. They, they built that. They built all of them. I believe I passed some of them. I'm not sure. Was that your first business? Was the plastering business? I was a blacksmith at uh, first. Well, okay. You, well, you are a blacksmith? I learned that trade on the farm. Right. My father had a blacksmith shop and made his own wagons and sure. didn't make the wheels, but he made uh, the carriages, but he made the bodies. He, ma he made his own horseshoes and shot his own horses and everything. And he taught me how to do all were that. Were you a teenager or were you even uh, younger? Young. Because you had to be strong to be a blacksmith, didn't you? Uh, well, I, was, I went to work at a blacksmith shop in uh, 1922, I believe. Where was that? In Baltimore. In Baltimore? In Baltimore. And I worked one year, and I found out pastors were making $14 a day, and I was making $35 a week for five and a half days. And I knew there was no future in it because I did the same thing every day, every day, every day. Well, and horses were going out. And yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't horses. This oh. wasn't. This was uh, in a shop where they made... Uh, 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 ranges and uh, sinks, always made out of, of, uh, of uh, what kind of corrugated metal, not corrugated, hmm. galvanized, yeah. all galvanized for the boats. This company uh, called Hutchinson Brothers, and he uh, hired me, and he said, I'll give you a try, and, and I, I stuck right along with him, and by golly, I went quit my job, went to work for a man I knew was a plastic contractor for eleven dollars a week, six days a week, and I worked hard for a year for eleven dollars a week. But I, uh, I kept on, and I, finally he ran out of work, and another contractor knew me. He wanted a plaster the worst kind of way, and he gave me fourteen dollars a day, and I never went back with him again. <laughs> and then I hired this man that taught me plaster. I had during the war I had fifteen hundred partners to plaster. During World War II? The World War II. And by golly, I, I, I subcontracted out so many of this and so many of the contractors because it, you had to have, it was a, a defense house, as they were. Where uh, were they? Down around Morton's, Morton's Airport, somewhere down in there. Middle and River? Over Middle there. River, and yeah. also, uh, they've been having trouble down here with these black people. Uh, what the heck they call that development? They were all black in there. Uh, I can't think of the name of them. Cherry Hill. Oh, yeah. Cherry Hill. I passed with all the lots and lots of those things. And so that was your real first business adventure, was No, I started in business in 1927. That was after the war. See, I, you, you couldn't get any help. And and I had all these partners to play with, and with defense, and I could hire and get material. I could get material for it, you see. Right. If you didn't have defense housing, you couldn't get material. Well, in 27, is that when you started as a plastering yep. business? Yeah. Well, when did you build the Acme In 39. Store? Okay, so that was a little bit later. Yeah. Okay, let's drive down Main yep. Street here. Now, there was a Radcliffe house down here. Uh, a what? Uh, a Radcliffe. Yeah, uh, uh, that, that big frame big house. Frame house. Uh, Charlie Radcliffe. Now, he was a uh, brother to the man who owned the big house up on the hill. He was a painter. And he only had, he was a so painter that, and so was the other one. That was this house. Yeah. Right there, that's right. And, Lockman lived along here somewhere. Now, were all these houses built when you were a boy? Yeah, all of them were built. They were all Yates built. owned these houses, I'm sure. Was this the Yates store? That, that was Mrs. Uh, Matthews was the Yates, and that was her. Her store. Yeah. And uh, were there stores down in here? These little buildings, there wasn't no stores. These little buildings were there. People lived in them. Built. And Burgess li owned that over there. Yeah. And he had a mill right down here. Right. And he also owned... Up on the hill, that brick house. This is, uh, we've got some That's the first fire there. engine house I believe we had. That's where they used to put the fire engine. And Burgess uh, opened the garage there. Uh -huh. Was that his mill, those uh, uh, there? Back in there, that mill race. Uh -huh. There was a mill race in there, and they used to run the wheels. And I placed this building in 1937. The new fire the station? The new fire station, yep. And the new addition to the courthouse, I placed that before I was county commissioner. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. There used to be a dentist in here named Shreve. Oh, 
Uh, right they, there. Dr. Bishop's is there. Dr. Now. Bishop, there it is. And then the Sykes, did you know when they were dead? Yeah, on this side. Uh-huh. That and, house And was Joe Losher owned that. That was his home there. And Miller, Emma Miller, and m we called her, Miller owned that. And Becky Talbot owned this lot in here with the big house on it. And Charlie Miller bought it and tore it down. Right. Um, and when, um, when did Mr. Miller build the... Did he call it the Green Cross Garage? Yes, that, that's around the corner. Well, they call me, this the Green Cross too, I believe. Let me show you this picture. Um, would would you know? Yeah, right here. Do you know who that man is? Would it be one of the Scots or Warfields? It isn't Charlie Scott, I know. Melville. How about Melville you? Scott? Did you that know? could have been him. Melville Scott started the Green Cross Garage. He and uh, Dick Harding. And there was a Warfield. The Warfield, yeah. Right. Right. There were three of them in it. All right. How about this? Is this this building when it was first opened as the new Chevrolet Garage? When when the Millers built that? Kind of looks like a, a new building. Well, I remember well when they built this. This was built after I built the Acme downtown. This was built in the 30s, I guess, or I mean the 40s, after the war. Is that what it looked like? It had to be. This is a, what that's, a is that? that's about a 27 Green Cross Motor Company. Uh, that must be down in the old building. I don't remember this looking like that. You, you could go in there and look at it and see if it looks like that. Of course, they've changed it. You know, all the times were oh, yeah. there. But the, the front up inside, I don't think that's... Well, I'm going to show it to Walter Miller. You see. asked Waller for Waller. Let's see. I don't know. Waller would be up to tell you about that. I, bet, yeah. I, I wouldn't want to make a comment, okay. but I'm not sure. I wanted to show you another picture and see if you knew who they were. Um, but I remember when they started Green Cross Garage very well. Uh-huh. Uh, did you know these people? I know two of their names. Now, this is Carlton Sykes. Sykes. Uh -huh. And this man's name was Getz. Or oh, that's at Washington Crush. Yes. That's on this side of the street. Right. Yeah, I remember him. Do you know what and his And I remember name? this fellow, but I can't tell you his name. Okay. You got his name anywhere? No. We know his last name was Getz, but we yeah, don't know his... and I'll tell you where he lived. He lived up Pell's Lane. Okay, do you know what his first name was? I know what his daughter's first name was. <laughs> Betty. Uh-oh. <laughs> she was more Elizabeth your generation. Elizabeth was her name, but we called her Betty. But she was a year or two older than me, but I remember him. Do you remember the bank looking like that? Yeah, On the inside? Sure. Yeah. And that closed, you know, during... Uh, during the Depression. Yeah. I don't even know what year that is, because it says it's June 26th, but I don't see... A year. Traveler's checks. That's pretty good. See, I dealt over the commercial uh, on the uh, Washington front. I now, mean the uh, Tapco National. So right. My father was stockholder in that. And then this became uh, commercial and farmers. That, that yeah. after the crash? Oh, long after long. They didn't open for a, couple of, a year or so. Is that right? Crash. I know Tapco didn't open for six months. I had $5,000 in their payroll. And by God, I couldn't, I, I'd give them a man checks and, and, and couldn't get them cash. And so I went down to Keatonsville. That's the old Washington Trust. Right. Now, I know this is kind of small, but I think this is a little later. Now, that's Mr. Sykes and Mr. Getz, but do you have any idea? Sure. I was going to bring a magnifying glass, I didn't. Hmm. I know the face, but I can't tell you the name. Well, if you ever, you know, if it ever comes to you, let me know. Who else might know? Uh, would Russell have known them well, by name? Would, I think that's Sam Captain's mind was good. He, yeah. would, he would know. I heard he just um, broke yeah. his hip and is in the hospital again. Oh, my soul. So I, I know he's um, kind of... I'll, I'll try to find out. They, they were employees in that bank. I'm Is sure. that what they were? Sure. That to be. What? When were you born? What year? 1905. 
1905. So is there anybody much from your generation around? Oh, yeah. Businessman? Lee Ramsburg's living, but he's 92, but I don't know how good his mind is. He might, he'd be, yeah. But like me, can't remember too much. Yeah. Well, I think you remember a lot. Talbert, this is Talbert. Yes. See, Talbert, and that was the first uh, uh, garage in Ellicott City, right there. That was a garage. What were they doing? Repairing? The Talbert had a fillet of, of the Talbert had a, a gas pump right there on there. It was the only gas pump in Ellicott City, and they had a black fellow named. He was looked like he was white, but they went as black. George Horseshoe, his name was, and he was the automobile mechanic, and that's where they repaired him. That's the first place. And, and then they made a fire engine house right. out of it, but the right. old fire engine house was down there where the library is now. All right, I've been talking to Mr. And, Shipley. <laughs> and, and then Dr. Miller lived in that, where that overhang is, it was a porch out over the street. That's not Dr. Ben. No, oh. Ben, his name is M-E-L-L-O-R. Right. Now, he was my father's nephew. See, my father's first wife was a Miller. Oh, I see. And, and, and Ben and Mark were first cousins. No relation to me, but... Uh, right, right, it was through you, yeah, your father's first wife. Okay, now the star of... Uh, star built that big building there. He was undertaker. Right. He, and he lived in one of these houses. I don't know which one he lived in. There's two there. Oh, Dr. Miller, I'll tell you, well, I remember this particular before Dr. Miller bought, moved up there. Uh-huh. Uh, just listen to this. I was wrestling up at that Episcopal Church. They had a supper there. And I must have been about 10 years, 11 years old, something like that. And this other boy, they got to betting who could throw who. And by golly days, we wore knickers those days. And my brother Mark, who's living, uh, had just gotten married, and his wife was living with us. And there must have been a hole in the sock, in the long sock. And she mended it and left the needle in. And when we, when we fell, we fell sideways. And I threw my leg out, and that needle broke in half and went right up under my knee. Oh, and they brought me down here and held me and cut that thing out. Dr. Miller did, and it was in that one of the, I think it was the one on this side. It was a little, oh, in one of the double? The one of the double, that's where his office was then. Then he bought up here. Yeah. Well, didn't Stars have a little white building before they built that brick building there? I can't tell you. You don't? That was before your time. It, I can remember when he built it real well, but uh -huh. I don't remember what was there. Well, May Hatfield is still around, isn't she? Yeah, but she's, a, 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 well, she's only a kid then. But she wasn't born when they built that. She might remember. She might remember hearing them talk about it. Right. Well, then this became our police station. That's right. That became the police station. Well, when Russell was a policeman, where was right he Right there. That was the station right there. Was he there? As yeah, he lived up there. Um, and he rented his house out, see? Uh-huh. Now, let me give you some history about this. Okay. This building here used to be the Ford Agency, right in here. This was Radio the Ford Electric? Agency. Radio Electric place uh -huh. was Ford. Where that post office is, my brother owned a livery stable. And Jim, he got that when Jim okay. Gator went in the hand receivers. Uh, Pop and my older brother bought that. Uh -huh. And he had that for, good Lord, years. Uh, well, I, I believe he... I want to drive that. back up there. There's okay, a, back behind it. Right. Well, what did they do with the property then? Who? Your father after Gaither lost it. What well, he operated the filling state. I mean, the... Uh, oh, the livery? The livery stable. People used to bring the horses out, right? and they had the carriages upstairs and downstairs it was underneath there. It was, there were two houses on this corner here, uh -huh. and, and a store where the big, the big building is, Joe Lasher, uh -huh. operated the store there. And this is the old Green Cross garage. This was it, right here. And this was really... Hill Singers was an undertaker, uh -huh. and he made his own caskets, and he had his uh, the horses downstairs here. You come in from over there, downstairs, underneath, and they had uh, the carriages up here, and the and the uh, now that building, that little piece was put on there because that was what it used to be. This used to be part of Hill Singers. Part of Hill Singers before Singer. it became Green Cross Garage. Yes, 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 ma'am. And then was Hill Singers up Hill here? Hill Singers lived right up there, right on that corner. Guess who's there? There's Mr. Shipley. <laughs> Harrison. <laughs> well, he knows, too. Right. We say hi to him. You have to turn my windows. I don't have electric windows. <laughs>
Hello, Mr. Shipley. Hey. <laughs> Come here. I'm trying to give her some information. I'm, I'm taking him around, and I'm getting some more help. He knows. I've been calling him about all the fire station uh, history, and so I've got Mr. Moxley down here. <laughs> right. Harrison, see, this used to be the level with the... Can you remember when the livery stable was here? It was Jim, Jim Moxley. Yeah, yeah, I told her Gaither started yeah. it, and the horses were down here, and the carriage is upstairs, and Hillsinger lived on the corner. Old man Leonard, and what was the old man's name? Stephen? Stephen. Well, he made his own casket, and uh, this was his, uh, where he stored his carriages, and down underneath where he kept his horses. Yeah. Are you, are Dick you Ball's too? Father, Dick Wall's father. Uh, are you too young to remember them? Uh, Dick, uh, not Dick Wall. Yeah, Dick Wall's father ran a film station up there before he tore it all down. Do you remember those up men? Here, yeah. yeah, no, I don't remember. You're too young. Okay, well, I you thought you might be. Gets, don't you? Yeah. Well, they is on there. Well, that's Getz. Sykes. That's Carlton Sykes, Sykes and yeah. Mr. Getz. Yeah. That's a commercial farmer. No, it was. It was yeah. Washington Trump. Yeah, Washington Trump. Yeah. Yeah. You know that young fellow fellow in the middle? I can't tell you who he is. <laughs> but I remember old man Getz. You remember he used to live up Pell's Lane. Yeah. And his daughter's name was Elizabeth. We called her Betty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my father was born right around here. There was you mean that old house that used to not stay? Not the old house. The three houses was on the corner. Uh -huh. I've got a picture of that. Of that house where the, he was born? Yeah, that, around here. Yeah. But that house back in there, uh, that old, uh, the old red house. Yeah, old red house. And Jim, you know, Jim bought that whole track in there. Yeah, and uh, and a boy named Moore that went to school with us lived in it. I remember that. And Sleepy Easton, don't you remember him? I remember Sleepy Easton. He lived back there. <laughs> Sleepy Easton? Yeah. Well, I don't know what his right name was. We he wasn't him. related to the Easton children. Oh, no, he wasn't? No, 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 no relation to them. No, no relation to them. Well, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. All day, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Harry. See, he's only 70 years old. Yeah, he's a youngster, right? Yeah. <laughs> this, my brother owned all this in here. Uh -huh. And a, a tailor bought it from him, uh, I used to it. Uh -huh. And the, the, the stream used to go way around. There's a stream runs under here. Yeah. And it used to go way around that way, way over there, and back again. And oh, the, the house sat right in here where they, the parking lot. Did they change the stream then? They, or they, they put it under on here. The they put it underneath it. Used to be a big dam right down there, right down here. I thought I had a picture of that old dam, but I couldn't find it. Um. So there were uh, a group of houses. So one there. house, one big yeah. house, set in the middle here. Uh -huh. This stream used to come. See, that's an old bed yeah. right there. Used to come way around this way, all the way around, right up against that bank. Huh. We are uh, all the way around to, and then the dam. The dam must have been 15 foot deep. Is that right? Yeah, it was just above the, the building. Ah. And I'll tell you, just where the, the water went to, too. See, my father operated the first electric lights. He was operating when he bought that farm in 1891 of Ellicott City. They made that electricity down here in the Eastern Valley. Where the, right. Where yeah. the, where the, where uh, the restaurant side street yeah, is? Yeah, side street is, that's right. There was a little power plant yep, there? Yep, that's where it was. And your father ran that? Yeah, uh, he operated it. And then he went into farming. Yeah, that's what he did. Uh, I don't know who owns these houses. We call that Tongue Row. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's still called Tongue Row. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, I'll and tell the, you uh, who. The outhouse, this was right over this screen right here. There was a, a lady by the name of Margaret Hughes who was a Tongue who was collecting rents on these in the early part of the century. Did you know her? No, but Margaret uh, Hughes. Uh, 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 Urban, uh, not Urban, Roy Stern's daughter bought these houses for a while. I don't know how many she's got. Might still own a couple of them. I don't know. But I know she bought a couple. Do you know what her name is? There's a lady who owns a lot of property in Elk Ridge and lives out in the western part of the county. That she wouldn't, wouldn't be her. She but that those. dam, you can't believe it. It was just above the Hill Singer's uh, carriage house. Just above it. So when Mr. Uh, how you doing? What did he say? Uh, I don't think you want to hear it. <laughs>
He said if I was doing good, I wouldn't be in this hole. <laughs> oh. I don't know if that's a man who's been... Oh, he's a, I think he's a drinker. Johnson. Yeah. I think he is from up in the country. Down here. So they fixed the old Sykes house up here. Yeah, this is really nice. Sykes. Right. That used to be our health department. Yeah, I that's know. That's where we had the health department. And Joe Lodge's store was next door. And... Uh, I used to go down there when I was a kid. Oh, what did Joe like here? Uh, general merchandise? General merchandise. Not not food. Now, when you were a kid, did people live in these yes. three buildings? Yes, that yes. was an old hotel, you know. That was Mrs. Uh, Disney's hotel. I don't know whose hotel it was. Yeah. I know people lived in them. Margaret Starr was right, lived in one of them. Uh, and uh, Elizabeth Starr, uh, she, if she was living, she'd be about, I guess, 70 three or four, probably. I can remember her, she's right that girl, that broad. She rolled skate right down this pavement on this side, and she put down on her backside, and I thought she'd broke it. Oh my. You know, they went right up one yeah. of her. Huh. Uh, but they, the Scott store built that and lived there. See, he moved, yeah. he lived in there. Yeah. And he had apartments upstairs. And he lived on the one side? Yeah, that's right. Was that May Hatfield's father? Yep. Got and Sam Gates is this the Sam Gates store here? Where was the harness store? Oh, I'll show you. That was on down? No, right down here where that brick brick plenty is. That was a Mayfield harness where they made harness right in there. Okay, and then did it burn? Is that why there's a brick or did they just put a brick front on it? Wait a minute, that's Hilsey. I mean there's a there's a Methodist Church is the old harness place right there. The Methodist Church. Yeah, that Methodist Church. It says Methodist. Uh-huh. And uh, Jim Stewart had a store on this corner. Right. And it used to be a triangle like that. And we used to go right straight through, walk right through the store going up to, going over to Rock Hill to go swimming. You, you went over to Rock Hill to that? Go swimming. Uh, where it's college. Captain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, it wasn't but, a college by then. That was, uh... uh no, but that was a Rock Hill had a swimming pool up there, and the college was there then. Because, heck, that didn't burn to 1923. That's right. That's right. So when you were a boy, that was still the college. Yep. Do you remember the youngsters from sure. the college? Sure. Went over there to play ball. Oh, did you play ball against Rock Hill College? With the county, you know, the, the high school. Played at it. Uh -huh. There used to be Norton's Drug Store, and old man he was there. Right. And I, there's a building I built in 1935. You did? Well, what was there before? It was a stone front, and the front still stone, but I stuck to it over. Oh, I see. How about these brick buildings? Oh. Here's the old town hall right here. Yes. And the next building to it belonged to the Junior Order United American Mechanics. That's what they, 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 bought, they owned that. What did they do with it? They sold it. They, John Baker bought it. I don't know what they did. They went out of existence. And this used to be a hotel right. up here. It was a hotel. You used to walk in right off of the rail. But do you remember when they I remember when they walked off the too. And that over there, the car used to see they, yeah. they had a hotel there too. And the old covered bridge went across there. That was a hotel? That they, the used, uh, that sucked, they took took rumors because you used to get right off the street car and go right down there. Oh. So that's where the Acme used to stand. Okay, I wanted to come pull in here and, and have you tell me about the acne. You know, they're getting ready to move. Oh, I know it, but Jim Clark was talking to me the other day. He asked me, see, yeah. I filled this mill race. I had this filled up. That's what I wanted to ask you about. And I had a picture of it up the house. I don't know where it is. I looked every high and low one to show it to you. There used to be two houses stood here and one up there where that was a big lawn behind it, behind the building, a bit behind the race up there where that train station is now. And the acne, I tore a house down and all the nails were handmade nails. See, that was probably one of the elegant houses. Uh, there were two here right. and one up there. Right, there was, right, that was their cousin John. Um, I know. Is this what it looked like? This is a picture of the mill of um, an old picture through here. Uh, see, here's the mill race. These are the, the mills on either side of the road here, and then this is the house that's back here now. Yeah. 
I always thought it, it always run in my mind it was 61. But you were elected uh, commissioner in 50. In 50. And did the road go this way? And that road went in there while I was county commissioner. It was, okay. Yeah, it so it was sometime in the 50s that yeah. it was put through there. It had to be in the 50s. So the stone... I believe I know where I picked up. I got 61,000 for it. That's what it okay. was. I got 61,000 for it. And uh, they thought it was all that so then, uh, when you built the Acme, you tore down a, a big house just back in there. Was it built of granite like no, these two? Base of frame, all frame, frame house. Uh, it seems to me they had a little dairy in the back built of stone. And we up against it. See, that goes back to that alley behind that other house. It went up to that alley. It was never another granite house here that you remember. There like, were two granite houses here. Right. Two. two. That's all I remember. There wasn't a third one. The no, third one that you tore down was framed, but it had the old and square. It was behind the mill race, just like these are behind. Yeah. See? Yeah. See, these, these are right. all behind it here. There's a house right there. That's behind the mill race. Right. And there's the old bridge. Went right into this. It went in, I remember going in the bridge, and it made a turn like that, as you, like uh -huh. that. Went up into there. That was, I've been across it a many, a many a time. I could do some tomcatting down here. <laughs> Did you have some girlfriends? Oh, uh, well, I used to know all the girls up there. Is that right? Yeah. Well, let's see, you got married in what year? 25. 25, so you were about 20. I was almost 21. So all through high so, school, you had all, all the time to... I didn't have to meet much all the to girls. do. I didn't have much chance to pull it in high school. You were too busy, huh? My father kept me busy on the farm. Yeah. Um, see, there. Um, that other house stood right here. It had to be. Yeah. It wasn't John, that was Jonathan's house. Yeah, right it there. It stood right here. Yeah. Um, see, they are improving that, so they're going to move it right well, across the road over there. That's what I understand. Because it. Well, now, Jim what, Clark called me and asked me if I knew anything about this mill race. How much weight would it stand? I said. Well, they put a 30-inch pipe in it. That's how I remember that, to carry the water down here for fire protection. And the other old mill used to stand down there across from it, and uh, and uh, you put the weed on that side, and it wormed it across on this side. This is all, I remember when all this is built. Right, this is after the fire. Do you remember the fire? Yeah, sure. Built in uh, 1914, I think, is when it burned down. That one over there. Yeah. This one. This one burned down in 41, I think. Um, a part of it did. I think there have been a number of fires. Yeah, well, this was a, this was the elevator, see, this solid part of the elevator. Uh -huh. um, then there were some other uh, early Ellicott buildings, but I think they were torn down for, for the mill on this side. The no. mill was over here, I know yeah. that. So that. Where we put the wheat in and everything, it had a... Well, you can see the daggone elevation. Where the heck is that? I saw it. There's an elevation elevated over top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Right. There was a walkway yep. between the two. And they, they, under here, they, this is the old fire, the old, uh, uh, well, the engine, the engine that run it, and they had a tube under the road, right straight across here, because I used to go down in there and watch that old big wheel turn. It was, that's all you could hear, just real solid. <laughs> And you couldn't hear it like a, a railroad engine. didn't sound anything like that, but it was steam. Uh-huh. All right, see, this is some of the old part that, that's left. Uh, uh, the, uh, have you been in there? Yeah. Is the old engine still in there? Uh -huh. Very big flywheel in there. I didn't see that part of it. See, the old road used to come way down here. Yes. Right, right. alongside of it. Right, and then it, what, curved up Went here? up, right straight on up there, yeah. My God, it has changed. It's the first time I've been down in here since it changed. Is that right? That's right. And I think I know who used to live up there. Full name Eddie Owens lived up there, uh -huh. and his entrance was on on uh, Westchester. Westchester. Yeah. Um, of course, this was all built after. I think this was built after the fire. Oh, it was. All this was built after. It right. was built from up where that. I think from where that uh, uh, shoot starts. From there down, it, it burned. I don't know whether they rebuilt it or just built on to it. Uh -huh. But I know it used to be stone. The part, one part burned down was stone. I remember that. Uh -huh. 
I'm so happy to see that they're going to finally move this house. You know, that's the last house that's left from the early Ellicott well, they're, community. They're pointing it up. They're not going to move it. Yeah. Then. No, they're making, they're fixing it so they can move it intact. Oh, my God. See, they did they're going to move that whole thing yeah. intact. Uh-huh. Good God, what are they going to put onto that thing? I Anyhow. don't know. Well, I don't know whether they're going to take the back part off, you know, and do it separately. Uh, oh. It's going to be quite a job. That was a nice, yeah, it'd be a nice, the mill race is way over here, way over there. Yeah. That's right. the edge of the mill race way out there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, that's, they had a lawn. I don't know whether this shows a lawn in front of it or not. No, but some of the other pictures it's show. A, I remember it being pretty great green grass and a pale fence right in front of the mill race. And then also to the back, wasn't yeah. there before they put the road through? Oh, yeah, that was all different then. But well, I know there were two houses to it now. I was surprised when they decided to do this. I'm going, to, I'm going to check my records. I got a record of when they condemned this same thing. And, and changed this road? Yes, sir. Yeah. I got the record of it. If I can find it, I got so many things. I got <laughs> checks from way back when I was in business in 1925. What do you have? The whole basement filled up with all your records? <laughs> Can't some checks. Uh huh. My father my kept all that. My too. wife gives me the devil. Said, what do you want to keep all that stuff? <laughs> Raptors used to have a coal yard here. Right. Now that was a uh, war fuel rack. This father was. Uh, he was a, another offspring. This Raptor, the one lived up there, Charlie Raptor and Sam Raptor. This was George Raptor lived uh, had this place. And I had a pool room. I, I had a pool room up there one time. You operated a I, pool. I had it to rent. I, uh, I rented the building from E. A. Talbot, and I cleared the whole. First, the whole second floor out, reinfor- reinforced the bottom, and put pool tables up there for my brother. He he wanted the pool room, and I put him in there and, and business. And he did a good business there, a real good business. Wasn't no rowdy stuff. But then, uh, now, this used to be E.T. Clark. Right. Uh, wait, this was E.T. Clark was on the street. This was Dorsey. Dorsey uh, had coal and, and, uh, and uh, hardware. And then didn't the two businesses and go they, together? Well, yeah, they went together. That's exactly right. Billy Owens, the fellow I was telling you about, uh-huh. his father, I mean, his uncle was uh, Will Dorsey. And Will Dorsey didn't have but one son, Mal. We call him Mal. I guess it was Malibu. Or Malcolm or something. Or Mal, something yeah. like that. I sat right up on that hill where the, the church, we right used to go up here to the church. <laughs> That was right up here on top. Yeah. Well, when were the houses up here they, on Mulligan Hill? Mulligan Hill, they were there before my time. Were they? Oh, God, yeah. I think they've been closed, though. But we sat up here and watched that mill burn in 1941. I don't remember that. Well, there was a fire in 41. I'm pr- pr- pretty sure it was 41. Well, there was a fire there in the 20s. Oh, that. There, two, there were three fires. One burned down on the other side was in 1914, I'm sure of that. Uh huh. That's the old Sunday school room right, right there. there. We went, uh, we got up these, there were steps here, there they are. I knew darn well we used to walk up there. And that was all part of the Episcopal Church. That's probably. right, that's exactly, look at that set of steps. So we walked up there many times when I was a kid. Mm. We walked everywhere. We didn't have no automobile those days, and we, and we had a horse and buggy and the horse and carriage, but we didn't we didn't fool with that just coming down with the city. We'd walk down here. Don we hook the horse up, we'd be down here. <laughs> we'll go up the hill a minute here. Um, well, now this is Will Dorses. I knew who operated that when I was a boy. And he and he uh, uh, Eddie Clark went in emerged because Billy once took the business over from his uncle. And and uh, and he uh, now this is a new building. This captain, I think, had this building built. That little, this one right there, yeah. One. yeah. But all the rest of these all frame the rest ones, they were there. They were all here. They're when they all were. there. I think I remember when that was built. I'm not sure, but it seems to me McAllister built that. All these were here. 
think of improving the bridge up here on College Avenue, but we can go up so far. Oh, yeah. They are. Okay. Listen, I was, this building was built in 1923 or 4. Yeah. This, so. Yeah. Isn't that a shame, though, that how is a it shame. looks today? It is a shame. Just, uh, St. Peter's stood right down there. Yeah. Right below the Catholic Church. Because when we come up this way, we had to walk right past the Catholic Church. They were close neighbors. They certainly were. I we'll just go up to here. Do you remember Lilburn, the house up on the hill? Who? Lilburn, the big, big stone, stone house. house. Well, Weaver, I remember when Weaver lived there, but I don't remember the other man. When who? Weaver, Dick, Dick Weaver lived there. Oh. He was president of the year of life or something. Uh, I played badminton in there during the war. We played every Sunday in that building over there. Oh. We had a badminton team. Kate and would come out and play at Harry County. Was this part of the school property? Was that, that was, yeah. the school mm -hmm. gym or something that, there? That, well, that was Rock Hill, I think, built it when the college was there. They would, there they the used to be toilets. I remember they used to be the Rock Hill. You see, they had no yeah. modern thing. They were all along that bank there. I remember that. And they were torn down. I guess the school built that. Where was the area called 40 Acres? Where was it? Yeah, was it here? Uh, no, I'll it take down, you up there and show you that where was it was. down on uh, Newcut Road. Newcut Road. Now, a girl lives in that house. I was in my class in school. Her name was Hattie. Holy I believe her Mary's name is her. Hattie Fizzle was a. Oh, Fizzle. You, you know Connie, Connie. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, her, his, Wait, her mother. Oh, well, you, okay. She'll get a view of, of the things over there now. Look what the, oh, that's the new courthouse. I know that, addition. but what does it do to the front of it? They're putting another addition on, I think, or something. Good golly days. I didn't know they were going to do that. Oh. Now this, see that mill race, where I told you they had the dam over there, had a race. Keep going that way. Right. I so thought he was going to turn in. <laughs> I don't know if he knows where he's going. I don't think so. This is one stream, and they they run the water from that other stream over there, over there where the dam was, into this stream, and had a dam on this stream, and the mill race, uh, the race that run the dynamo, was on this side of the, right behind these houses. Right. See, these houses that were hanging there, that's where, that's where it was. Um, did you ever call this stream by any name? I don't know, I always called it Rock Hill Branch, but I don't know, did it you? has a name. Uh -huh. Some people said it's supposed to be the tiber. Now, it used to be a family that, I know that people lived in these, I remember when they all lived in them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hard to believe. And then they used to have a little dump right here, trash. Burned the trash right there. The, the Rock Hill boys used to have to walk down. They used to come down on that side of the wall, uh -huh. down here and walk up here to the swimming pool in the ball down called 40 Acres. Right. Now, were these houses here? Then? They were all here, every one of them. Every one of these houses was here. And that was a new house built, Edward. But this one, old Bosch Dent oh, lived wow. in there. I knew him real well, old black boy. Bosch Dent? <laughs> Bosch Dent. Bosch. I oh, think. Bosch. Bosch, I think his name was. And now, Sam Hansen built this one back in here. He did? Yep. And he, he was a real respectable black man, I'll tell you that. Now, he that. also had a, uh, he built this frame house he here? He built this house right here, yeah. And Sam Kaplan built that, uh, that right there. See, here was the old ball down. This is 40 acres. 40 right? acres. See, it goes clean up on the hill. It, it was 40 acres in that track, and they always called it 40 acres. This is where the, you had the field days. And, uh, That's right, field days and everything. That building wasn't there. Sam built all of it, and the college was right, I mean, the, the swimming, swimming pool was right here. All grown up. Doesn't chime change everything. Well, there's so many trees. When, they, when the trees grow up, it changes the looks of yeah, it, doesn't That's it? the old swimming pool. They water come out of this stream to supply it. So it was just water from the stream? From this stream had a dam up here. It flowed down there, but it flowed down. They had a pipe that's all washed away now. So when you were boys, you just came down and you could swim there? Oh, right? yeah. Anybody could swim at the pool, sure. the college pool. Yep. They didn't charge you anything? No. Or? In fact, one of the college boys, Roland boys, taught me how to swim when I was about 10 years old. Oh. 
Do you remember um, the young men that were going to college there at Rock Hill? I can remember some, some of them. In fact, one of them went to college, was on the Board of County Commissioners with me. Uh, Richard Harmon went there. I remember when he was a little fat boy of two years old, and he went. That makes, <laughs> that makes a big difference, you know, and when you're young. Right, and he right. a little fat rat would get on that diving board and just stay on it and keep jumping up and down until <laughs> nobody else could do it. And he was from Elk Creek. Uh -huh. And he and I talked about that more than once. <laughs> and my brother Jim went to Rock Hill and uh, they wanted Mark to go and Mark wouldn't go. Uh -huh. That's what Pop told me. Uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, Jim Clark's father went to Rock Hill. I understand. And Jim, my brother Jim went there at the same time. Were they about the same age? I think it's brother right. Jim. Jim might have been a little old, but I don't think too much. Where did your brother go to school before he went to Rock Hill? Did he go to the same little he Jonestown went to that school? Jonestown school, I guess. Right. I know I went to Jonestown for three years. And then what and school did you go to? Well, right? City High School, the only school. It had a high and, and grammar grades in it, too. The frame one. That's the frame one up yeah. on where Pete Strongberg's house is. commissioners, we'd, we'd have had that whole stream covered, and right where they're building them new buildings now, one of them, that big wide building, would have been torn down, and that would have been a main road to, to Montgomery Road. Right. And they, I, I took the option on it for uh, $12,000. Uh, Dan Hope had a hardware store there. Now, where, where are you talking about? Right what? where that big, uh, where, oh, okay. where the restaurant where was the down there that burned down. down. That would belong to uh, Dan Hope, uh -huh. and he had a hardware, and I said, I, uh, he said he wanted to sell. Sorry, up here. Anyhow, he said he wanted to sell. I said, how much you want for it? This was in 39. He says, uh, uh, $12,000. I said, well, I'd like to take an option on it for the Heard County. I said, because uh, getting the mill race filled up down there, and they want work. The state, uh, the, uh, WPA wanted work uh -huh. for the men, and they would furnish all the material and everything. All you had to do was de give them a deed to the road. Uh -huh. And by golly days, uh, I, Dan Hope uh, give me an uh, uh, option to buy it. And I, uh, I uh, now wait a minute. I bought it in the name of the county commissioners. I said I'm buying this for the county commissioners. I want an option for them, not me. You think he stalled? He's got his foot up. He might. Yeah, nobody in it. Nobody's in it. So I guess we have to go around. Right? I guess so. We got an old place to get stuck. <laughs> So, uh, you so anyhow, right. anyhow, Murray Petticord had a little store right up the street here, appliance store, and he he wanted to buy it. And Dan Hope told him that I had the option on it for the county. So he, he got her. No. so anyhow, he came to me, uh, Murray did, and said, Norman, I understand you've got an option on Dan Hope's building. That's that widest one. Right. Uh, 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 it's not the one right against the bank. It's the one next to it, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, you know who used to have this craft meat market? Yes, yes, right. Rosenstock's in here. So, by golly, they wouldn't buy it. So I turned, I released my option. The county wouldn't buy it? No, sir. And you they, wanted to cut a new road right, right straight here. through there right. and, and a big, put a big parking lot back there. There was no parking lot like you got now up there. Yeah. Right straight through there, that wide building. That's where we're going to put it. We've always needed some kind of They additional. needed it the worst kind of way, and it would open up Ellicott City. And yeah. But these were three farmers on the board, and they didn't know where they were standing on the head of the feet. <laughs> There's the old hotel. Right. 
that's been bought. You know? Yeah, I know that. They're going to fix that's that. That's the Masonic building where they've always painting. Yeah. They're going to be up and have somebody down there holding that ladder. That thing slip up under each other, bring him, ruin him. We're going to go up yeah. Church Road here. Go ahead. Get off Main Street. See what you remember. The old fire station. Fire station. They had wheels that pulled it by hand. Wasn't there a frame building in here? There right, was it used to be a right in here somewhere, yeah. Right. It stood in here. It was a blacksmith shop. Right in there. And the town hall, they told me, was there. But I don't remember that. My father said that the gun thing broke in and he got broken ribs. I don't know if tell me that. Were they used, uh, the magistrate used to, commissioners or somebody used to, uh, hand out tickets or something there at the town hall? Is that what you call oh, a town uh, hall? Or? They called it the town hall where they used to meet when anything was uh, important. I guess it was the county. I don't know. Now, this is a new building. That building was in 65. You see the date yeah. on that. Do, what do you remember about the house in the corner? That house used to be our uh, office, office for the... I bought that, I think... Did I buy that when I was county commissioner? I bought one of them up there. But then, uh, I believe I who was have. there before that? Do you remember? Crow. A man by the name of Crow oh. lived there. Well, was Dr. Martin there? Do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember Dr. Martin. He uh, was, uh, had, uh, he was a pharmacist. It was a drugstore. Oh, I know. The only drugstores I knew was Norton's drugstore. That was down the street there where I told you about it. Right. And uh, and uh, Tapsco drugstore was on the other side of the street. They moved up there. They used to be down there, and they moved up there. Uh, I don't remember any other. Um. The uh, do you remember when Mr. Jenkins took over this right house here, and right here, it up? Yeah. Yep. Now that had been what a Mayfield house, or do you remember that it was all? Let's see who lived there. Uh, single lady. I know who lived up there. Uh, Tibbetts lived up there uh, in that house. Um, but they ain't going to find them. And was, I forgot who lived there. That now. was the minister's house for the Presbyterian Church for a long time. That's right. That's right. That was the man's. That's right. Now, Tibbetts lived there. Dr. Herbert lived. Right. Now, was Dr. Herbert's father a yeah, doctor, too? Yeah, yeah. Right there is where he lived. And that was the Hodges, Dr. Hodges. Uh, the Hodges bought that afterwards. The Herberts bought it from Hodges. I, they, they did? Dr. Hodges was uh, oh. Roberta Adams' grandfather. Now, wait a minute. I was thinking of a different Hodges. Hodges, okay. Yeah. That could be, I don't know. I'm going Gazaway, wait a minute, Gazaway. Now, let me think a minute. I don't, I don't believe Gazaway had that same building, and Herbert come over there and took it over. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe this was Gasway. One of these was Gaz Dr. Gasway, the man I told you before right. that sold that farm up there or the mortgage. Now, where did this minister live? Uh, right, I think there's right a house here? right here. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Mump oh, oh, what was his name? Mumford. Mumford. He was the last one. Uh, Collier used to live here. Okay. They, I think they're the ones that stuck out that had that house stuck out, Collier. And, and they're much short down over the hill there. Castle, yeah. yeah right. Castle. Mount Ida's up here. Yeah, it's up there. Charlie Miller bought that and restored that song. Right. Now they're using it temporarily while the courthouse is being, uh -huh. being worked on. I don't know who lived in that house. There's the old institute. We used to, when I was commissioner, they used to have uh, plays in that building. I know, I can't believe how. Goodman had it. How it's fallen down. Really. And then he, he made a nursing home out of it. Uh, Goodman did. Goodman made the nursing home. So, uh, when you were in 62, they put an addition on the end of the courthouse we here? We put an addition on the end of the courthouse 
uh, two editions. Two. One was put on there when I was commissioner, and we had it planned for make a three-story building out of it, uh -huh. a, a four stories high. We had an elevator shaft left in there and everything, because we figured the county was going to grow, uh -huh. but we didn't know it was going to grow like it has. Uh -huh. As we had, we had removed the courthouse. I'm glad you did. <laughs> we, well, we oh. moved it up here. Where the, we got some of the buildings up there now. Right. Now, then you opened a new uh, We opened all this up. We bought this from, from the doctor. Somebody, I forgot his name, lived in Ohio, owned it. Oh, Let's drive back here city. once. Yeah. I want to show oh, you okay. where that old schoolhouse used to sit. Okay. Can we I don't know if you can get through there or not. You might be able to. I'm not sure either whether that's I think maybe. That road goes through, I think, yeah. yeah. See, there's the old jail down there, and we had the, the uh, radio, what we call that, I forget what we call the radio place. Oh, uh, Central Alarm. Central Alarm, right there. Communications, right. Weldon Mercer lives there, across there, old oh, man Mercer. Let's look this way. Show you where we walk to school. Strawberry Lane used to come up right straight up here. Uh -huh. Where is that? Yeah, right up to here. And the school set right over in there. Now, is this Mrs. Stromberg? That's now? Mrs. Stromberg. And this is where her Chuck Gerwig, but he died. And Wilson Talbot lived there. He was a brother to the Talbot, and he died with the flu during the First World War. Mm -hmm. you know, so he was a stout man. He used to say, I hope I don't get that flu. By golly, he got it, and he died. France lived down in that house. I know who lived there. She was in my class, and she was the ugliest girl. She was so ugly, she wouldn't look in a mirror. And by golly days, I, see, I had two class reunions from my, and I never graduated. I quit in the 10th grade. Is that right? Yeah, passed to the 11th and quit. Because, uh, well, my father wanted me to stay home and work on the farm. Yeah. When, and they called call me rainy day. I could go when there wasn't nothing yeah. you could do on the farm. And uh, so, I entertained them at my house up there. There were 56 of them, uh, 56 people, but they had their spouses, yes. and some of them that didn't graduate came too. Uh -huh. And this girl was so ugly, she wouldn't look in the mirror right down there. <laughs> and now you listen to this. She turned out to be a right nice looking woman. Which I hadn't seen her for years, I hadn't. <laughs> this was in 1960. So, by golly days, Marguerite Molesworth was the prettiest girl in the class. And she came from Woodbine on the train, rode the train down in the morning and back in the evening, come down at 8 and go back at 4. And she was a pretty, and all, these, all the boys thought she was really pretty. <laughs> Anyhow, she didn't, she'd been married and divorced. Evelyn France, her name was, down here. She was, uh, she had, uh, she'd been, she's married and still married she was. And she, and I was giving them all they want to drink. Now, don't forget that. I had them happy. <laughs> and uh, I want to show them the little country boy could do something, too, that, uh, you know, that didn't graduate. That didn't graduate. There's right. only 23 graduates. Yeah. At, uh, night, uh, yeah, 28. 28 graduates, that's all. That's right. Anyhow, all of them I could find came. And it wasn't feeling any pain. Ellen speaks up. Huh. I might have been the ugliest girl in the class. Marguerite was the prettiest one, but I got a man, she don't have one. <laughs> well, I thought that place would go crazy. Uh, uh, she, uh, but now, she, she turned out to be a right nice one. Right, right here? When the school was right here? Right there, it sat right where that house is set. Right here? Yeah, you used to have steps come up right here up to the first floor, and then they had a second floor come in from the side. Now, there was the elementary school and high school. Uh, elementary and high. Great big frame building. Yep, big frame building. 11 grades in it. Yeah. Then they, they had to move the first and second grade over to Quaker Hill, where oh. Jack Mayfield used to bought that. That was an old uh, the Quaker house or something, and they moved them over there. Now, was Jack Mayfield um, the judge? Later yeah, on? yeah, yeah, that's right. His father was a real politician, died very young. Was that uh, uh, Hunt? Uh, Hunt. Uh, T. Hunt, his name was. Well, now, was it? Well, who was, uh, was it? This was 1911. I was looking in the records. There was um, a Thomas Hunt who had a shop in uh, 
Main Street. And I wondered if if uh, Mr. Uh, Judge Mayfield. Well, I knew Thomas Hunt Jr. I didn't know the old man. Uh, Thomas Hunt uh, had uh, young one that's ten years older than I am. Let's say would be his sister married uh, Garner Clark, who was.